What's going on, guys? It is Jamil with Milmit Studios. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Before we get started, guys, I want to thank you so much for your continued support. We are at just over 2,000 subs. I really could not have done it without you guys, and I want to give back. And the way that I'm going to give back to you is through a photo submission competition. Be sure to check out my last video where you can see the instructions. Pay close attention to the instructions so you could enter to win a Peter McKinnon camera tool. It's a piece of kit that I have used... It is a tool that I have found myself using more and more. It's a great tool. It's handy, especially with the the, uh, the hex bits on here. It comes with eight. And I think it would be great as a part of your everyday carry kit uh, for camera use and just general daily use. So thank you guys so much for your support. And before we get into the video, guys, just want to remind you to check out my website, www.millmanstudios.com, where you are able to purchase two preset packs that I have available, one for your color workflow and the other for your black and white workflow. As you guys know, I picked up a Leica Q2 monochrome a couple months ago, and I have absolutely loved this camera. This was a used camera that I got for a pretty decent price. Um, they're pricey no matter how you cut it. They're pricey and this one's in good condition It has a little cosmetic chip right over here. But other than that great lens great body I mean, they're all one in the same with the q2 and the q3 the lens is attached to the body They're not interchangeable as you may know and I got the monochrome sensor and guys honestly it has awoken within me a desire and a uh, drive to shoot black and white photography. I absolutely love black and white photography and that's where I find my journey is heading. But as much good as I have to say about this camera, um, it's not all rainbows and butterflies. And there's one particular thing about this camera that I absolutely loathe. And I mean, it drives me nuts. It drives me crazy. You may think I'm over exaggerating, but I'm not. While I was at the hospital with Emily, uh, waiting for her to give birth to our daughter. I brought this camera as the memory maker that I was gonna use. And this one issue was just blaring while I was using it. And I'll cut to the chase, guys. The issue isn't so much the camera or the lens. The issue is this lens cap cover. This thing was driving me nuts. Depending on the condition of your Leica Q2, and the condition of your lens cap. I don't know if you guys can see here, I'll get you a closer look, but some of this velvet, really nice. I mean, it's it's really great um, materials used, really nice, soft to the touch, but some of that velvet, it uh, it starts to, it's starting to peel back along the sides. It doesn't give you a very confidence inspiring It's not a good lens cap. I, I gotta say it outright. Um, at the hospital, when I'd be walking around, you know, you're on the maternity wing, it's quiet, and this thing would just bang, hit the ground. And it's a really nice, like, I don't even know what sort of metal or material this is, but it's very clangy when it hits the ground and it makes a lot of noise. Okay, guys, so here you'll get an idea of what this thing sounds like when it drops. Needless to say, I was desperate to find a solution because it was it was really driving me nuts. Like you're, when you have a lens cap, you, you expect it to protect the lens and have a nice snug fit, but that just isn't the case. And I think it's a bit of a design flaw with the materials that they use inside, although these are premium materials. When you look at your Canon or your Sony or your Nikon lens caps, like you get a nice positive clamp here stick it onto the lens, release the clamp, and that thing's not going anywhere. Uh, not so much the case with this guy. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing. Um, it came maybe five days after ordering it. It was a good experience. Um, I'm gonna open it up here, and I am very hopeful that this will be a good solution to this problem that I'm having. Okay. Super anticlimactic. Okay, so this is what we have. It's called Thumbs Up. That looks like the brand. Lens cap for use on Leica Q, Q2, and Q3. And there we 
have it. Now, obviously, as you can see, there's no Leica written on this. It's completely, it's like a silicone, really basic materials. But the moment of truth is here. Perfect. That is such a satisfying feeling, and that's not going anywhere. Wow. I'm really happy about this. And then this little lanyard, you can fit right over, right over there. It's almost too snug. I might end up just taking off the lanyard, to be honest with you. But then at least, like, when you take it off, you can just shoot and not have to worry about putting it in your pocket or anywhere. So, actually, that could be quite useful. It is a match technical lens cap for Leica Q and Q2 cameras. I'll put a link in my description. This is not a sponsored video at all. All right, guys, so this is it. I mean, it's simple, it's plain, it's practical, it's functional, and it works. And this was about 50 bucks US. Um, you know, it doesn't say Leica. It's not stamped on the front here. It doesn't have the nice light metal or the Velcro on the inside, but it works. And I think that this is gonna help and boost the quality of life. And, you know, just living with this camera and using it as a daily camera, it's one less thing that I have to worry about. Um, highly recommended. I will be using it and hopefully, you know, the snugness remains the same. We'll see how it ages with time and I'll give you guys an update if interested. But yeah, well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hit that like comment and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed be sure to check out that video to see how you could win a camera tool remember guys the best gear is the gear you have and the best photos are the ones you take don't forget to keep on shooting <laughs>